In the last episode, I finally got around to fitting the upgrade to the crib, which I've been waiting months for. Yet, yeah, I finally got the roof box fitted, which basically means I can now carry more equipment and go on bigger and better misadventures, which is why I headed to North Wales. the Lamberis Sweeney Todd. Let's see how I end up. Gutted mate, absolutely butchered. Look at the state of it, oh my days. I should never have gone in there. Yeah, I had to make an appointment, didn't I? Gutted, I thought it was just a normal men's barbers. I should have called before I came down here, but yeah, we're booked in for tomorrow now. Good news. Right, supplies next. Feels like a pretty well failed mission. No haircut. I'm pretty pretty sure half the ingredients I've bought here are not what I need for tonight's meal. And I'm now gonna move from this car park to another one and pay again for parking. What a failed mission? Nightmare. Anyway, let's keep moving. We're nearer the spot where we need to be for today. but we're going to throw some cheese into the local economy, don't you know? And so this is not a bloody short stay car park. Bear with. Boom time then, after the mashup of a start of this one, onto the trail, and it's going to be a good one. Look at the state of that area that we're going up. It is cold. Oh my days, I'm going to absolutely cripple the name here. The Denorwick, or Denorvik. Quarry, yeah, okay, laugh, well, however it's pronounced. I don't know, but there it is, and that's where we're going, and it looks spectacular. It looks like it's got loads of mining stuff to check out, buildings and little tunnels and really dangerous spots for me to precariously explore. And then we do have a choice of it in another Welsh 3000 at the top, which I've got to be perfectly honest, I'm probably not going to do, because the trail I'm doing doesn't go through as much of the quarry stuff as I'd like it to. So I may get up there and just explore the quarry area more, but there it is. Let's get ourselves up there. It's gonna be a wicked one. If I was to do the whole trail, well then it does officially stretch nine miles and it's supposed to take about six and a half to seven hours. So it is a massive one. Luckily though, the quarry is only about halfway up. So let's go take a look. Mate, look at this start area. Almost looks like we've got beaches going on down here and this water looks so clear. Not sure I'd want to go swimming in there though. Just saying. Mm. Hydro company does not accept liability. Keep to designated footpaths. No climbing up sailing. Keep clear of old buildings and structures. Cliff faces, rah, rah, rah. Watch yourself. Well, got to say it. Well, this one's not messing about from the start, is it? Oh my days, look, there's the road. And we're straight up. We're not messing. I mean, look at the state of this trail. It's doable, it's nicely maintained, but it's just up, up, up. If you saw the last episode, yeah, I wasted myself and really, really 
exhausted myself on uh, the Watkins path the other day. Two days ago. Oh, I wanted kind of an easy one today. We're not going to get it, are we? 4,000 feet of elevation on this one if I take it to the top. Yeah, it's a beast. But you should get some legendary views down into Lambaris. I can't wait. Wow, <laughs> look at this. This is amazing. Look at all the slate and such. But look at the path. It's like totally carved out. It looks amazing. Miles a bit like this. Well, I, I don't know. It's been almost like this since the start. It's really cool. So much stone. It's mad. I mean, look at this wall up here. It's incredible the amount of stone that's coming out of the earth there. This is going to be mind blowing. Brilliant. Looks like this mining area starts early on. Look at this. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Big old turning wheel thing for water or crushing stone or something. Brilliant. A little building over the way here as well. I think this is just the start of it. I think there's going to be quite a bit further up. Oh, wicked, mate. Wait till we get a load of this. Ta -da. Looks like some old dwellings, some houses for the miners. <laughs> These look amazing. With all the chimneys on top. I'll tell you what, they're blooming small. If that's one chimney for one house, this is your house. One room, I think. Oh, maybe you get a bedroom as well. So yeah, a bedroom and a living room. Wow, that's uh, pretty small, eh? You're certainly not bringing a family of four up in here, are you? <laughs> you need to be knocking the wall through and having an extension. <laughs> it does look pretty amazing, though. Wicked. Do I ever have a bit of a problem now? The path splits. I need to check the trail up and see where I'm supposed to go. But I was hoping for some signposting up here to sort of show me where more of the quarry bits are. But I don't know. I'm seeing nothing. So it's all going to be guesswork. Oh, no way. Saying all that. Check this out. Look. There's some uh, QR codes on these posts. And this top one, I was hoping it was going to give me a bit of a map or something. But it hasn't. It's given me some little information on the area. And it says the quarrymen at these barracks had little protection from gold and no electric or plumbing. Rats and fleas were common. The men shared household duties. Oh, and then it says scan the other one for more info. But ah, so it was just guys up here. It wasn't families. Uh lonely times you know oh well that other qr code that's kind of funky it leads to some weird little website with loads of information about the area which i'll be here days like reading off but it's also got a really detailed satellite map of the area which is absolutely bloody useless so i think i'm just going to follow the trail up it goes this way up and then to some wondrous viewpoint that probably is going to be absolutely spanking with the way the weather is today so yeah man let's go in a moonwalk style, just saying, I'm wrangling the guys that dig it. Woo! Yeah, Michael will feel at home here. <laughs> In all honesty, they're really not the boots for it. You need something with a nice slippy sole. Anyway. Oh, look, check it out. Here's something that I never knew existed down here until last night. I don't know its name. Oh, I'll try and put it on the screen. But it's a castle. The Lamberis Castle. I didn't know they had one. I don't know anything about it, or why it's here, or when it started, but it looks pretty awesome. I'd like to go check it out at some point. It does look kind of funky. What oh, doesn't look funky is the way I'm supposed to be going. I think I'm watching over by wire fence here. Look at this, look. The old tram lines or train tracks or whatever it is. No way. Still got all the massive cabling as well. That's so ever wicked. No way. Check this out. It's off the beaten track, we should have gone up, but I couldn't resist coming checking it out. I mean, it's just more houses and such and dwellings, but uh, look at the spot for it. And I was thinking like, ah, I don't know much about anything, but imagine back in the day when people were like, oh, do you want to go and work in the mines and live out here with all this nature and beautiful views? Or do you want to stay in the polluted cities like back in the day? Imagine how much pollution and plagues and stuff were going around i don't know how many hundred years ago but yeah choices eh i think this would have been a better one odd life and yeah all the dust from the mines and such and all of that but 
Yeah, given the flip side of being in the Sears, I think I'd have taken this area. Or part of the way, beautiful views. And a bit of grind, hanging out with the lads. Only the lads though. You'll have to do a few trips down into Lamberis on a weekend, won't you? Just saying. Wow, look at the landscape here. This looks amazing. Look at this big jut that's sticking out. I mean, you got to think they must have took the whole of the mountain out here, bit by bit, and more, all stretching round over the back. It must have looked so different before, and it's been mined away. Pretty impressive, but also pretty damn destructive, eh? I mean, look at the sheerness of these walls and such. Wow. Looks like there's a little hut thing over, right over there as well. That'd be a wicked little wire camping spot, wouldn't it? Honestly, not too sure which way to go now, whether to try and find my own route or cut back on the official trail. It's a bit of a random one. There seems to be a path that goes all the way up there and slowly cuts back round to where I want to go, so I might give that a go. Wow. Oh, there's something I didn't expect to see right up here. Underground piping, what's going on there? That's mad. I mean, this is on the back side of that sort of quarry area. There's those buildings over there. I mean, I do know there's a massive lake at the top and there's some sort of hydroelectric power under the mountain, da -da -da, dwarven type thing. And then it's gushing through down into something in Lamberis creating hydropower. I was reading about it, done my research, but yeah. I wouldn't imagine that part's part of it. <laughs> I don't know. If so, there's not much water gushing down at the minute. That was dry as a bone. Oh, I'm really not sure I should be going this way. Official trails, feeling a bit better at the minute. Bear with. Whoa, here's a random find. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Check it out. It's got a bin. A roof on top. It's all tarped out for waterproofness. And uh um do I right, hello mate it's a bit dodgy. It's uh, got some flooring and bits in there and it kinda looks like it's set up for living. That's pretty random. Anyway. Bit of an odd find. Should we um should we keep moving? Plastic cup as well. That looks quite recent. Maybe somebody just built it up and spends a couple of evenings here now and again, eh? Who knows? But uh, a bit of a weird find. Wow, look at the landscape I'm hiking around. This is mad, just pure rock and slate and broken rock and stuff. It's just mental, it really feels like something from Lord of the Rings. I mean, look at the state of like these sheerness here. And then there's a pathway through the rubble that's been built officially, you know? Oh, and it leads up to something. Hang on a minute, I might have to have a look at that while we're here. That'd be rude, wouldn't it, not so? Damn, now after scrambling up slate, looks like there's nothing up here. There's another one of them round buildings up there. Just look like there's an official trail up there though, someone walking along there. Ah, makes me wonder. There's bits over yonder. I'm gonna try and head that way. Hopefully I can cut round to my trail, or the official trail I should be on. Oops. Uh, not entirely sure I should have come this way. Gutted as well. Look at what's in front of us. That looks an amazing place to explore. There's no way we're going to be able to. A bit gutted. There is, however, something absolutely amazing around here that you can do. I saw it on the web a while ago. There's a quarry sort of explanation or exploration climb that's guided and it goes through different sections of the quarry inside the mountain various difficulties of sort of scrambling and climbing it's ropes and all abseiling and such and it looks amazing probably a little bit above what i'd be comfortable doing if i'm honest rock climbing with ropes is not really my thing but uh yeah into the mountain it goes wish we could go have a look at that bit of a shame i'll tell you what as well <laughs> it looks pretty well guarded doesn't it i mean Look, I'm not about to break any laws, you know what I mean? But uh, that's not a massive fence to climb over, is it? But in seriousness, that down there, I think, from what I'm reading, so this is deep water. So I can only assume there's some sort of lake in there or there's an inside lake in the cave. Oh my days, now I really want to go and see it, but 
it is what it is we move on ah cool we're nearly at the viewpoint now but i've got another one of these qr codes this is a weird one because i don't know the terminology but it says that the quarry around here add up to about 30 galleries that were named after people events and places around the world and yeah i don't know what gallery is i'm gonna be honest i don't know is it these things that are like shooing the flu down or whatever it is look at that that's so cool i guess that was some sort of minecart thing going down and they are like kind of all over here as well there's a few flues up the way and we miss one down yonder and i don't know i'm gonna hazard a guess galleries of these flu things hit me in the comments because i know i'm wrong okay the other qr code gave me what i needed the uh, the galleries are basically the rock faces that people are working on and they're working in teams of four with each individual man having his particular job to sort of pummel away at the rock face yeah galleries rock faces google didn't know good job i'll tell you what there's some big old buildings around here look at that one massive this must have been where like the heart of the mining was and then going upwards accommodation down below maybe further afield there is masses over that way and that's the way that the trail goes and then miles up to the top of that peak but down here is the viewpoint i really want to go check it out it's getting pretty windy though i hope we can get the drone up oh we can check this area look like a little seating thing i don't know what it is but it's going to go beyond and then they built the viewpoint out of the way or maybe this is how it was originally but yeah they made a thing of it happy days this looks wicked fingers crossed oh wow definitely worth the hike and definitely not disappointing wow what a legendary spot what a stunning view amazing all the way down into Lamberis, up to Snowdon and such and further afield and round to the quarry. Wicked mate, what a spot. crib then mate i'm so hungry i'm gonna have to get a snack but look i hold my hands up that area there is loads more to explore we've probably only explored a third of the area and the route does go up like i said to illa de fawn i think it's called but i've been having a think while i was up here or up there i've got something with me on this trip and rather than it just being dead weight in the back of the car that i'm moving around for the old trip i thought i might take the opportunity today to use it the paddleboard. The weather's holding out. There's a couple of lakes close by. I figured we'd go down towards one of them, have a little paddleboard, and cook up a nice feed for the evening. So I think I'm gonna go pick a few bits up, and I'll catch you down by the lake. Let's have a little squeeze, see what the water's saying. Oh dear. Honestly, it's looking a little bit shallow and a little bit rocky, but I'm gonna eat this and worry about it in a minute. Well, good news, the belly's full. Bad news, I've now got to spend 20 minutes pumping up the paddle board. Whew, game on then. 450 pumps, kid you not, in the last 50 are well hard work. But in all seriousness, this session does have the potential for being rather sweet, but also rather short. So if this wind picks up and has its way, it's only gonna do one thing. It's gonna blow me all the way down the lake and leave me with a massive long portage all the way back. Fingers crossed it don't. Uh, let's find out. Damn it. Gonna have to get in the water a little bit here as well. Don't wanna damage my fin. Damn. Ooh, I feel like a like a bloody sail with this board in me on. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, let's go. Nice. Ooh, see where she takes us. Yep, we're going downwind. 
I know that much. Bloody hell, there's a lot of wave on this. There's loads of wake. Been stable on the bottom. Bloody hell, it's really blowing me, man. Nothing I can do here. This sucks. Just got to get out on the lake, I think. Ah, nice, eh? Just get the board out, man. Wicked. Don't want to fall in mine. I got keys in my pocket. That's up. Beautiful views all around, though. Wow, what a day. Nice. Oh, it's going to suck portaging back, though. What? Oh, well. Nah, it's a massive wind today, man. Look at that. It's just blowing me straight back round. This is a nightmare. I've got no choice but to beach. Otherwise, I'm going to beach my fin. This sucks. It's nice, but... Hey, not great. I'm gonna beach. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, I'm dragging my fin here. Damn it. Ah, this is not cool. We'll give it one more go, see if I can get out. Damn it. Should have gone in another lake. This one wasn't the one. What a shame. It had such potential. Nice though, whatever, man. Just a little paddle. Pretty sweet. Nightmare, back at the crib, and <laughs> it was an hard work for a portage, it was a long one. Ah, oh, good, the learning curve, second time on the board. I knew it was too windy, it was just blowing me into the bank there. Half an hour of set up and five minutes of joy, but it's still nice to be out in the water. We're well, definitely gonna give it a go in a few days time when it's less windy as well, but yeah, let me uh, tidy up the gubbins. And I think I'm gonna go do a bit of scoping. I've got a few spots around here, if I can get a phone signal. Right, here's the thing then. I've heard rumours, or rather I was checking pot for night when I had a phone signal. Oh no, I did put my phone. Bear with a minute. Ah, in the bag where I left it. It's not my fault, I have a million and one things I really do, and to remember every single little item, yeah, it's not easy. More importantly, as I was saying, these spots, yeah, we're at a lake here, I think this is called Nanguent. Oh, I'm gonna get crucified, but there's another one, a little bit bigger, further down. And when I was looking on park for night, it looks like they've got about five or six spots around there for overnighting. I haven't got a phone signal, so I figured we'd drive down there, see if we can visually scope them, and if not, I hope we can pick a phone signal up as we get closer. I guess we'll find out. Boom time, here's the lake, and here's our first scoping spot. Pretty damn sweet. Whoa, bam. Except for the lumps and bolts and the potholes. Also, it's really not looking good for the phone signal. I figure I'm just going to drive down the lake and see what happens with the phone. Here's a potential, just saying. These are the spots as well. Oh look, dudes paddleboarding, man. How are they paddleboarding out here and I was really struggling where I was? Still no phone signal though. I'm going to keep moving. It is an idyllic spot though, I might come back. Oh. Spot number three, and this looks even more doable. Wow, they've got the spot with the view. We could have a sneaky bit of a view. Still, however, no phone signal. I've got a feeling this area is going to be one of them spots where you're just not going to have a signal, but you're going to have an amazing view. We'll just take a two-minute drive down here towards the end of the lake and see what else we got, and then I think I'm going to take that idyllic spot for at least cooking up a feed. Well, I've had to get in on some lumps and bumps, I'm not going to lie. It's not the most friendliest of spots, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty friendly spot in terms of the view. Oh wow, look at that. Not bad. There is, however, <laughs> some dude in a van. I don't know if he's spinning round. I think he's going to pull up behind me, but uh, oh well. Maybe have comfort for the night or... Company. Company for the night, that one. Mate, what a wicked view. Phew. Yeah, man. Well, I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty idyllic spot. <laughs> Got me coffee going. Cup of tea, actually. No, Earl Grey. Tunes are beaming away, and a beautiful view for the evening. And I was thinking, I might even do some alfresco cooking. Let me just finish my tea. I'm enjoying the spot. Give me five. Oh wow, look how peaceful this lake is. There's barely any wind here at all. This is the lake I should have pulled up on and paddleboarded on. 
Looks a bit of dropping as well. I might have a go in the morning, but for now, da, 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 it's time for a bit of alfresco. I couldn't resist it. Look at the view. <sighs> It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Right, it's an Asian feast. I'm stoked. I wanted to have a little Asian in the crib, but no, I've brought it down to the waterside. It's going to be fun. She'll enjoy it, and so will I. Arr. Time to find out which of the ingredients on the box I actually remembered and which I didn't. Right, first off, jasmine rice, basmati, close. Uh, pork fillet, damn it, still in the fridge. Oh, yeah, I've got pork. Uh, next one, shallots. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got them. Spring onion, oh, mate. <laughs> I just bought them off chance and now I need them. Brilliant. And brown sugar. Red onion. Close, but it's a start. Oh, damn it. Let me go get the pork. Oh, bugger. Now I remember this bloody one. It's not the pork first. You have to do this beef stock thing with the rice first, don't you? Oh, what a pain in the arse. It's not even the right bloody rice. Okay. Water first then. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling slightly negative from the start with this one, starting with water. This don't bode well, does it? I mean, I'm going to cook the rice. It's going to sit there for... In the pan, they save 10 minutes for about 55 to an hour minutes. And it's going to be cold and then I'm going to serve it up. It's going to be a disaster, but hey, we'll follow the instructions. Do what you're told. Right, while that water's boiling, I thought I'd prep eat the pork because it says something along the lines of, meanwhile, heat a little oil in a pan and fry the pork for five minutes or until just cooked through. And then add the mang too. Hang on a minute. Mang too, like, I'm not being funny. At which point on the ingredients and the back of the pack did it say mang too? Bloody Nora. I remember now, yeah. Bit of green stuff. Oh, it's gonna be a bit thin, this one, isn't it? Bloody hell. Oh my days, this thing's getting out of hand and I've not even started the pork yet. I've got to get on with the rice, mate. Oh, it's madness. Oh, it's a right lump, that thing. Bloody Uncle Ben's. Oh, he should have took better care of his rice, mate. Not impressed, Ben. All right, here we go then. In with the rice, apparently. Oh, it's going to be way too much of that bad boy, but you know. In with the beef stock. Oh, I guess we should open it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you know. Oh, bloody Nora. Why did it make this thing so difficult? Oh. I mean, what's the point of having that pulley thing? Look, it's not working. It's just imploding the carton. Ah, it's just a disaster from the start. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to pour, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Look at that. that. That's pouring all day long, mate. In about six weeks' time. It's like the slowest pour in the world ever. <laughs> not happening, dude. <laughs> Come on already. Oh, no. Only 300 millilitres of this bad boy, apparently. Oh, mate, that's not even helping. Oh, this is not going to taste of anything, is it? Wait, I've got an idea. God, this is disgusting. I may as well just made it with my hands. Which I am doing. Ow! Yeah, 300 millilitres. That much. Game on. Oh, my days. We ain't got many of these. These are on rations. I stocked up. Evidently, I only grabbed a little handful. Right there. Let's make sure we put it on the right hand. Oh no, it's gonna rip. Oh no, oh no, oh my hands are wet. It's not working. It's not working. Oh, it's really tight. God, oh, no, no fish guild on it. Oh, that's not happening. That really. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Ooh. Oh, mama. Oh, that does not look a good colour. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, jeez. Might miss that bit out. I'll be honest, I turned my fridge off for a day, or half a day. Oh, I don't think I should have. It went to really high temperatures. It's really hot, isn't it? The last thing I should have done at this time of year is turned it off. I'm not being funny. I'm hungry, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Bit of prepping on this spring onion. Just saying. They're absolutely disgusting. I've got to peel about eight layers of skin off. Oh, yeah. And a mang too. Uh, red onion, for good luck. <clears throat> good timing, no launch there, because they're, yeah, the rice is absolutely boiled dry. Nice. Oh, looks like it boiled over as well. Fantastic. <sighs> <sighs>
Honestly, I do like this thing, but it is a ruddy faff around. Apparently now, we've got to fry off the pork for five minutes. <laughs> you didn't see the colour of it, mate. That's getting at least ten. And then we've got to set that aside while we do other gubbins and such. So, yeah, let's do the pork first. Got to say it, though, mate. What a spot. Look at the sun glistening on them hilltops. Oh, my days, mate. I might do a wild camp there tomorrow. I don't know where, but somewhere up there. <sighs> Another great day in North Wales, man. I don't know what it is about this place. It just does something to me, man. It's special. <sighs> part of my soul's here, man. And part of my pork. <laughs> it's now sticking to that non-sticky frying pan. I'll better flip it, bear with. Right, the pork's honestly starting to look like there's not much life left in it, which is quite a statement, seeing it's a bit of dead pig already, do you know what I mean? But honestly, I think I'm being set up here, mate. I showed you, it, it mentions nothing man two on the pack, on the outside. Oh, oh yeah, it's not man two, is it? It's shallots I'm supposed to be doing next. I ain't got them either. Uh, we'll call it onion. We'll do that. God, I've got to get this off. There'll be nothing left in a second. Hang on. I hope that bit's cooked. Maybe I'll cook it a bit longer, just to be sure. Honestly, I bloody love this meal. It's so good. It reminds me of Vietnam so much and the smell and taste. And I've really bulged it up, I'm not gonna lie. We ain't got what we need, have we? And now I've mixed up the bloody onion and the spring onion. We may have got a couple of rogue pieces of spring bunion in there, but let's, ah, oh, Jesus. Let's not worry about it. Apparently these shallots have got to fry off for two minutes. Whatever. Oh crap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, mate. I'm having that, I don't care. Whatever. <sighs> Three second rule. All right, it was about four seconds, but who's counting? All right, anyway, they're looking burnt. So um, I'm with the next, you know. Um, in with the brown sugar. We don't have that. So let's just put some water in there. Cause that makes sense, wouldn't it? Water in a frying pan all day long, you know. Apparently we are adding a bit of tit cow paste as well now. I'm not lying, honestly, look. It's called tit cow. Spelt T-I-T-I-T, but I bet they say tit. Everyone loves a bit of tit cow. You do. Crap, this one's not even got a pulley thing. Oh, they're having a laugh, mate. They're just setting, Jesus, oh, bloody hell. Oh, come on, really, dude. It's not exactly like, oh, get... oh that really has got a nasty smell and consistency to it. Oh, we're in a world of pain now, screw it. Whatever. Excuse fingers. It's only me eating it. God, it stinks rank. Ugh, that's not the good bit. Where's the bloody good bit? I hope we've got the right one. Blech. Damn it. Oh, look at this stain <laughs> to that, mate. <laughs> Get to the doctors quick, lad. Ugh. Ah, 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 ah. God, jeez. Ah, that's hot. Oh, my days. Apparently we've got to turn up the heat now. <laughs> Help. It's got to thicken up. Uh, I may have put a little bit too much water in. Just saying. Right, I know this thing's Vietnamese and all that, but this next thing's making no sense whatsoever. I'm sure it's been written in like broken English or something. It says, I've got to return the pork and veg to the pan. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I can put the pork in, but what veg? And then it says, toss in the sauce. Well, what sauce? I've got one left, but the next paragraph says I've got to then add that sauce and the spring onions. I don't know what veg I'm supposed to be adding, neither what sauce. Oh, she's random as bow. Let's just do it my way. Gubbins in and stir it all up. And I'm not even bloody messing this time. Straight in with the knife, you do. Oh, that yeah, might work. Oh, none of these pastes want to come out. It's ridiculous, half of it sticks to the pan. Look at that. Ridiculous. Ah, darn it. Right, let's get this puppy dog served up. Oh, mate, I hope this rice. Oh, my days. Nearly missed the plate. I'm going inside. Going to give myself options in life, you know. That's what it's all about. Options in life. And on your plate, if you want it with rice or not. Boom time. Vietnamese pork and basmati rice. I think it should have been jasmine. It looks like I Ah, there's absolutely millions of gnats swarming around me. I'm going to eat it quick. We're getting the crib. Oh.
Morning. Oh, I've got to apologise from last night. They had my food and whatnot. And then I literally just sat here for about two hours by the lake, listening to nature and doing nothing else. It was absolutely fantastic watching the light go down in front of me. Just a special moment and a real special evening. And no phone signal and I wasn't bothered. I literally got bed about 11 o'clock last night and it was fantastic. This morning, woke up at about half past seven. Nice early start, almost got the paddle board out, but then I had a couple of coffees and a bit of breakfast instead. Today, I'm hopefully going to get the mop cut, and I'm thinking of possibly doing a wild camp. That's all for the next episode, though. I think this is probably going to be the best point to end this one. By a wondrous lake, having had a pretty epic day yesterday. It was cool getting up to that quarry, and even though it wasn't the best ride with a paddleboard, it was still nice to get it out, and at least now... I know where I can bring it next time. As for now, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know, you know, take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. Get out there, man. The sun's here. Let's go.